Hey everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Hey, let's take a walk and go see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, welcome to Great Beer Reviews today. Thanks so much for stopping by. I do appreciate it. Today's beer comes from Firestone Walker. These guys are out in California. This is their Mind Haze, this or Double Mind Haze. It is a double IPA. They make both variations. They make a, a regular IPA called Mind Haze and they make this double uh, called Mind Haze. So uh, uh, it doesn't say double mind haze on the can but it does say underneath there that is a double IPA so uh, this is a little bit more potent than the regular mind haze if you will this is sent to me by Bill from Beer Hounds Beer Reviews this wraps up his beer barrel package he sent me uh, sent me some of the California beers out in, in his vicinity uh, Bill thanks a bunch my friend uh, I do appreciate it uh, I'm hoping that uh, me mentioning you and you sending me these beers get you more subscribers guys. So check out his channel. I'll have that link in the description. He does beer reviews and does a good job of it, uh, on it too. So support him if you can or if you want to or if you so choose to. Uh, I am subscribed to him. So uh, uh, this is an 8.3 percenter guys. 12 ounce can. And Firestone Walker prints up their cans. They spend their money on those. Instead of doing a stick on wrap around a label like a lot of the breweries are doing now. It says it was canned on either 723 or 729. It's hard to tell if it's a 9 or a 3. Their dating machine is very digitized. Uh, but Firestone Walker makes some really tasty stuff. Uh, especially some of their bigger beers. Uh, they do some really awesome stuff. Uh, and they're pretty big. They're a pretty big outfit. Uh, their beers are distributed in a lot of states. So uh, pick it up if you can. Let's see. Let's jump over to Untapped. And uh, they say, uh, I've got the wrong one here, guys. I've got the single. Let me bring up the right one here. Yeah, 35 IBUs on this one. Uh, says here, and it looks like it's a hazy beer. A pillowy soft, smooth, double hazy IPA boasting huge tropical notes of pineapple, mango, and melon balanced with light bitterness and sweetness. Uh, and that's basically it. So, uh, the pictures here, it looks hazy. I don't know if I, the, the light on some of these pictures don't do it justice, guys. So, when I get into the glass, we'll see if it looks like a New England style or if it's just a hazy beer. Uh, 8.3 ABV, 35 IBUs, and a candle day. So, we got, uh, they don't have the IBUs on here, I don't think. I didn't see it anywhere, but they are telling us what it is. So, uh. Let's find out what we got here, guys. Let's pop it open. Rolly for That will increase the head factor and release anything that it may have possibly settled in the bottom of the can. All right, double mind haze, if you will. We got almost three fingers of head on that. Uh, it looks pretty damn close. It's hazy, no doubt. I can see just a little bit of light through the thin part. So, I mean, we'll give them the benefit of the doubt and say it looks like a New England style beer. Uh, 
It's a good looking beer, uh, especially to me. I like these hazy juice bombs uh, that a lot of these breweries are producing now, but the bigger breweries seem to have a little trouble producing the, the orange juice looking beers for some reason. Uh, I don't know. It's definitely a certain process or technique to get that to happen. Uh, my, I've never brewed one that looks like this either. Uh, I mean, all I, my stuff, and I haven't brewed in quite a while now. So, so uh, the last time I brewed, these beers weren't even available. So that tells you how long ago it's been. So, uh, and I don't think I have the equipment or technique or the know-how to produce this style of beer anyway. So, uh, good-looking beer, it is. Uh, so. So I'll be flapping my gums any longer. Let's uh, let's see what we got. Here the nose we go. I am getting pineapple. Maybe some stone fruit or tropical fruit notes in there. It smells decent. I mean, it's not off the chain aroma. I mean. Uh, about what I was expecting from a big brewery. Let's find out. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Bill. Thank you, sir. I do appreciate it. Pineapple is definitely prominent. A decent representation, guys. I mean, it's... For a big brewery, it, it tastes pretty good. I would probably pick this up since it has a date on it. It's 8.3 percenter. Definitely a little different with the pineapple being as prominent as it is. To me, it's just a little on the thin side for an 8.3 percent, but that's just my opinion. Uh, Tasty beer. Like I said, uh, I don't think it's an outstanding world-class beer, but it's it's a decent beer. So let's uh, let's go sip on it. Let it come up to room temperature. It's right out of the fridge, and uh, I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. Been sipping on for a while. Very very nice slicing is left on the glass. Uh, yeah, it's a decent beer, guys. I mean, nothing to write home about or anything like that. But yeah, for a big brewery, it's it's a tasty beer. Uh, The pineapple is the prominent taste that I'm getting on this one. Uh, you may taste some other stuff, uh, uh, but I think the pineapple is more prominent than all the rest of the stuff. There is some other stuff there, but uh, I think the pineapple is uh, probably uh, the strongest aspect of this beer. So, uh, with that being said, uh, a very enjoyable beer. I would probably buy this beer if I could get it here. Uh, I think it's a tasty beer. Uh, Fairly well done for a big brewery, finally show. <sighs> Tasty beer, decent beer. Uh, to me guys, 90. Uh, just, just into the A minus scale. And uh, you might think it's better than that, you might not think it's as good as that. So. Um, it's all subjective, where your taste is, what you like to drink, uh, and all that. I mean, everybody's just a little bit different. Nobody drinks the same thing all the time. Uh, well, some, not, oh, some people do. Uh, I did for a long time, many, many years. I drank the same beer over and over and over and over and over and over. So, uh, I don't do that anymore. Uh, but it all depends on what you want to drink and if you want a variety or if you want to have the same thing every single time. I don't. Uh, and I haven't for many, many, many years now. I, I try to taste as many different beers as I can. But I still have friends that drink the same beer every single day, every single time. So, I mean, it all depends on what you want to do. That's what it is. I mean, uh, yeah. There's people that only drink Coca-Cola. There's people that only drink Pepsi. There's people that only drink Dr. Pepper. Uh, 
And there are people that only drink Budweiser or Miller Lite or Bud Light or Budweiser. I mean, it all depends on what you want to drink uh, and what you like. So, my thing is, is not to drink the same beer twice in the same day. Of course, now I don't drink that many in a day. I'm only allowed to have uh, two and sometimes three. Uh, but I digress. So, to me, guys, like I said, 90 for me on this one. Uh, beer Advocate has it at 90. We're in agreement there. And over to Untap, they have it at. 3.95, which is right at the upper end of their B plus range. So, if you've had this one from Firestone Walker, their double mind haze, their double IPA mind haze, uh, let me know what you think. If you meet again, let's go see what's in the fridge. Once again, Bill, thanks for the beard, buddy. See everybody next time.